Absolutely. You look at that first half, uh, obviously Phoenix College came out. They started out with an 11-2 run. Things were really going good. Then all of a sudden, Coach East runs off 26 of 30. An amazing run. And, of course, they were led by their two top scorers, Bonner with 13, Atkins with 12. And Atkins was a slow starter, but he launched four successful three-pointers in a row. Yeah, he did, and he was three for or four for five from the three-point line. 80 percent side as you get a look at Jerry Carrillo, assisted by Jeff Kaha. And the manager, Bowen Brown, of the Cochise Apache, the defending champs, coming in 18-9, 13-6 in conference play. Coming off an 83-57 win over Pima. Here's a driving right hand. Count the basket and the foul. And, Jeff, that was a great job by Ryan Holmes because, like we talked about earlier, they need to attack that 2-3 zone. Nobody was going down the lane. And Ryan Holmes just got a little inch of daylight. He took it straight to the rim, puts it in, and gets fouled, and now has a chance to put his team back within seven points. When they pretty they, – they didn't really get – they got outscored in the first half, but it's not like Coach East really outplayed them. They just outshot them from the outside. You know, they were on fire in the from about that eight minutes in mark on. 16 and a half left to go. 39-32. You're watching NJCAA basketball here on MCTV Sports. Phoenix College, downtown Phoenix. Kochi slowing things down, 18 on the shot clock, bounce feed the white, in the paint, he spins, gives it off, here's a shot from three, and A.J. Atkins, leading scorer in the ball game, his fifth three-point play of the contest, five from six from beyond the arc, and he's got 17, and it's 42-32. Well, that is just a dagger in the heart of Phoenix College, who Coach East really Phoenix College being more athletic, they can go man, Jeff, and they've been doing man on, getting man on defense, a great job, and, and but it doesn't pay off for Phoenix College with the athleticism because they don't have to go zone. Lights out from the outside for Coach East. Coach East in their forecourt, owning a 10-point lead with 15.35 left to play here in the second half. Coach East with one team foul. Phoenix has yet to commit a foul here in the second half. Nice position by White, and he blew it in the paint, and it may have been the presence of a 6'8", 210-pounder, Kalen Riley. Riley definitely changed White's shot there, and Wiley comes down with the rebound, so good inside presence by Riley. And Williams shaking and baking in the low post. He was. He spun around. Uh, but Full court pass down, a breakdown on the defense, and Hopper scores it. I don't even know if you call it a breakdown, Jeff. Just laziness right there. Nobody got back after the hoop, and Coach he sees that, and Harper just ran right out and scored the hoop. Holmes now with five points. Good ball rotation, open three. Nazer hits the Super Trio. He's got 10. 44-37, a seven-point lead for Coach East, who has led most of the game, as we mentioned. Phoenix started the game on an 11-2 run, but then Coach East came back with a 26-4 run, and this ball is going to go out of bounds, timeout on the floor. With 14.32 left to play here in regulation, Coach East leads Phoenix College 44-37. It's been raining threes for Coach E. Apache in this contest, but Phoenix has outscored them 12-7 to start the second half. 14-32 left to go, and a 44-37 lead, but Phoenix has the basketball. Has a chance to cut this one down to maybe four. And, Jeff, they just need to keep attacking the zone. Oh, now it looks like Coach Carroll switched up. They're going man now, so it'll definitely give them advantage down in the post. They can get the ball to Riley, who is way outside the three-point arc. And picked up there defensively by Hopper. Here's the alley-oop to Brown. He went up strong, and the ball went flying off the backboard. No good, and now we're going to get a foul in the backcourt to stop the fast break. I think that was a good foul there by Holmes. It was, Jeff. It stopped the foul, but that was a bad pass by Nasser. Brown, he went back to where he was trying to go up top, but it was he was double-teamed. Nasser know, has to know when to pull that trigger and when not to be in the guard. And it was just a bad pass. Brown did everything he could to get the ball, but he had no chance with two guys draped all over him. Well, it's amazing he's got 10.7 rebounds. His athleticism alone has led to those respectable numbers in this game. But every time he has had a touch in this game, Michael, he has two or three defenders all over it. 
Under 14 minutes left to play. And Borden on the reach in here against Phoenix College's Justin Williams. Young man, a freshman out of Paradise Valley High School. And to wrap up on Brown there, Jeff, I guess when you're, like I said, a two-time player of the week, you yeah. said coaches are going to let you know what's going on. And just like for for Coach Heath, how Denial Forbes hasn't been involved, they've made sure Ira Brown has had to work hard for everything. Driving layup, and with the right hand, it's going to fall, and Bonner is second. His first basket of the second half, he's got 15. Leading scorer is A.J. Atkins with 17. And a 46-37 lead, so another big possession here for Phoenix. Angle left, Holmes. Look at the tough defense by Borden. He's Pushing him all the way back out to the half court line, killing the shot clock for the Bears. Down to 12, Holmes. Trying to get something here, and he finds an open man, and he hits the Super Trio. Well, Nasser made Nasser again. That's his third three-pointer of the ball game. They're within six. Nasser made up for that bad pass right there because that ball had great arc, Jeff, from the corner. And like you said, how it's a six-point game, and Phoenix College just will not go away at home. Out of bounds. Last touch by Phoenix College. Coaches retains a possession with 12.47 left to go. You get a look at Ira Brown, the big power forward. Not really that tall, but he's just he's built like a middle linebacker. Here's a three ball left side and almost rimmed in and out, and it does rim out. And the rebound belongs to Riley, and PC has a chance to cut this lead down. This would be the lowest differential since that first half. They're going to get a three ball here, but a whistle, a foul. And it's going to be wow. offensive. What a break for coaching. Yeah, they're calling that a push, Jeff. And, <laughs> man, I don't know about that. 